Have you ever wondered how pilots maneuver the airplane while it is flying high in the sky? They look at certain panels on the cockpit called flight instruments. Basically, there are six of them to monitor regularly. In this video, we will be discussing the six flight instruments that are being used in flying an airplane. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. The first instrument we will be discussing is the compass heading indicator. What direction am I headed? The heading indicator connected to a gyroscope shows the direction in which the airplane is flying. It is easier to use than a simple magnetic compass which is affected by the acceleration of the airplane. In this scenario, the airplane is turning left. This is achieved by pushing the left rudder pedal forward while it is up in the air or turning the tiller counterclockwise if it's on the ground. Notice that as the airplane turns left, the compass is turning clockwise. They are moving in opposing directions. Conversely, if the airplane is turning right, the compass would spin counterclockwise. This is done by pushing the right rudder pedal forward while it is flying or turning the tiller clockwise while it is on the ground, while it is still on land. By default, the compass heading would remain as is when there is no change in heading. The second flight instrument we will be discussing right now is the airplane speed indicator or simply known as airspeed indicator. How fast am I going? This flight instrument shows the speed of the airplane through the air, which it calculates by measuring the difference between total air pressure and static air pressure. In an Airbus 320, the maximum speed is around 500 knots, where 1 knot or nautical mile per hour is equal to 1.15077.9448 miles per hour or 1.852 kilometers per hour. Therefore, 500 knots translates to 575.38972.40.118 miles per hour or a maximum speed of 926 kilometers per hour. That's the maximum speed of an Airbus 320 plane. The third flight instrument we will be discussing right now is the turning coordinator. Is my turn coordinated? This flight instrument helps guide the pilot through a turn. It uses a gyroscope to show the rate and direction of turn and whether the airplane is slipping forward to the inside or skidding towards the outside of the turn. When an airplane turns left, it should be tilting counterclockwise, where the turn coordinator would spin clockwise. In this scenario, the airplane is making a tilt on its left side. This makes the airplane turn to the left slightly by moving the joystick to the left. Conversely, if the pilot moves the joystick to the right, the airplane would tilt on its right in a clockwise direction 
and the turn coordinator would spin counterclockwise. The maximum possible banking rate of an Airbus 320, I mean its tilting angle, would be 67 degrees. But usually it is only done up to 33 degrees. So that it's not so uncomfortable for the passengers behind the pilots. By default, the airplane's left and right wings are balanced, are of the same flight level. Pilots tilt the airplane to create a difference in airspeed between the left and right wings. Whichever wing is lower would have a lower air pressure and the wing with a higher altitude would have greater air pressure. This creates a difference in airspeed. This is why tilting the airplane would allow it to change its direction. The fourth instrument we will be discussing here is the vertical speed indicator. How fast am I going up or down? This indicator shows the airplane's rate of climb or descent by measuring how fast the static pressure changes as the aircraft climbs or descends. As you can see here, when the pilot pulls the joystick backward, the airplane would climb up. But if he pushes the joystick forward, the airplane would fall down. Just look at Harry Potter on the upper right. How it relates. Where in the broomstick is imagined as the fuselage of the airplane. By default, the airplane cruises at a constant flight level. So that should be the default position when flying an airplane. The fifth instrument we will be discussing here is the attitude indicator. Where's the horizon? Ideally, they should be called Horizontal Attitude Indicator because horizontal comes from the word horizon. To make it clear, let's say the word horizontal. This flight instrument helps the pilots judge how an airplane is oriented. When darkness and weather obscure the horizon, they refer to the attitude indicator, which uses a gyroscope to show the position of the airplane's wings in relation to an artificial horizon. In this scenario, we are showing the airplane that is pitching up and tilting counterclockwise. In the next example, the airplane continues to go up in altitude but it is tilting clockwise on the other direction. This time, we are showing the airplane that is going down in flight level and it's tilted to the left. It is oriented counterclockwise based on the horizon's position where the left wing has a lower altitude than the right one and for the last example of the horizontal attitude indicator we portray the airplane that is continuously descending but it is now tilting clockwise to the right, where the right wing is lower than the left one. But when you're not changing directions, 
this is how it would look like. The last instrument that we will be discussing here is the altitude meter, the sixth flight instrument. How high am I? Basically, a barometer which shows the airplane's height above sea level, it senses the change in static air pressure caused by a change in altitude. When the joystick is pulled backward, the airplane would go up, but when the joystick is pushed forward, the airplane would go down in flight level. The altitude is measured in thousands of feet. To compute for the flight level, you divide the altitude in feet by a hundred. The maximum altitude for an Airbus 320 plane is 39,000 feet. This is equivalent to flight level 390. The altimeter, airplane speed indicator, and vertical speed indicator all rely on air pressure. Meaning, the greater the air pressure, the greater its number reading would indicate. But sometimes it can be the opposite. Because the higher the airplane flies, there is lesser air pressure in higher altitudes. That's why airplanes can fly faster at higher flight levels. A gyroscope within an instrument can provide a fixed plane of reference that does not change as the airplane rolls to the left or to the right, tilting counterclockwise or clockwise in layman's term, pitches up or down, or yaws to the left or right, changing its compass heading, in other words. The compass heading indicator, horizontal attitude indicator, and turn coordinator rely on gyroscopes. To combine the two types of flight instruments together, this is what a pilot would see when he is flying the airplane at high altitude. This example shows a change in altitude and direction, specifically its heading. As you can see on your right, the runway number is useful when you're approaching an airport during the landing process. The runway number is one-tenth of the headings indicator. Meaning, when you land at runway 30, your heading is 300 degrees. Meaning, it's on your north-northwest. When you're landing on runway 6, your heading is 60 degrees. That's north-northeast. Is it 